Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're new here, I'm Steve. This is Life in the White House and I've lost over a hundred pounds and gone from this to this. And in today's video, we're gonna be diving deep into calisthenics to see if it can really build muscle like traditional weightlifting. Can I transform my body using just bodyweight exercises? Let's find out. So calisthenics has been gaining popularity in the fitness world and for good reason. It's a convenient, accessible and often overlooked way to build strength and improve overall fitness. But can it really help you build muscle? One of the biggest misconceptions about calisthenics is that it's only for good for cardio or improving flexibility, but it can't lead to significant muscle gains. Some people think that because you're not lifting heavy weights, you're not challenging your muscles enough to stimulate growth. Others believe that calisthenics is only good for beginners and that as you get more advanced, you need to move on to heavier weights to continue to make progress. But what if I told you that these assumptions are simply not true? What if I told you that with the right approach, calisthenics can be just as effective, if not more so, than traditional weightlifting for building muscle? It's time to debunk these myths and take a closer look at the science behind calisthenics and muscle building. Another common myth is that calisthenics is only good for upper body exercises like push-ups, pull-ups, and that you can't effectively train your legs or core using bodyweight exercises, but this couldn't be further from the truth. There are countless variations of bodyweight exercises that can target every major muscle group from squats and lunges to planks and leg raises. So what are the principles of muscle building that apply to calisthenics as well as weightlifting? One of the most important is progressive overload, which means gradually increasing the difficulty of your workouts to continue challenging your muscles. With calisthenics, this can be achieved by increasing the number of repetitions, decreasing rest time, or modifying exercises to make them more challenging. Progressive overload is a key to building muscle, regardless of whether you're using weights or your own body weight. And with calisthenics, you can incorporate progressive overload in a variety of ways. For example, you can start with simpler exercises like push-ups and gradually move on to more challenging variations like diamond push-ups or decline push-ups. Another principle of muscle building is consistency and patience. Building muscle takes time and it's essential to stick to a well-structured workout routine and make adjustments as needed. With calisthenics, you can create a workout routine that's tailored to your fitness level and goals and that can be adapted as you get stronger and more confident. So what does the research say about calisthenics and muscle building? Well, studies have shown that bodyweight exercises can be just as effective as weightlifting for building muscle, particularly when it comes to exercises that work multiple muscle groups at once. In fact, some research suggests that calisthenics can be even more effective than weightlifting for building functional strength, which is the strength you need for everyday activities and sports. I've spoken to athletes and experts who swear by calisthenics for building muscle and improving overall fitness. They've seen the results firsthand and they're convinced that calisthenics is a game changer. And I have to agree, I've seen the results myself and they're pretty impressive. So what's the takeaway? Calisthenics is a powerful tool for building muscle and improving overall fitness. It's convenient, accessible and often overlooked, but it can be just as effective as traditional weightlifting. The key is to approach calisthenics with the right mindset and structure. Incorporating progressive overload, consistency and patience into your workout routine. Now, if you want to see what patience and hard work did for me and my body, then click this link right here. But apart from that, I'm Steve. This is Life of the White House. Beware that donut goblin. And I'll see you guys again in that one.